Hey everybody, Rick's here. Yes, I'm back. It's been a few weeks. Well, we moved and uh, we're still in boxes. My studio is not set up. You can probably tell the lighting is really bad. But hey, I wanted to get this video done because it's been a while since I put something out and I want to introduce you to this electric pencil sharpener. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's get right into it. Well, let's crack this puppy open here and take a look at what we got going. Okay, of course, you have a USB cable. And uh, first off, this thing has a battery in it. It's in here. And it's got a screw. It holds it in because it's rechargeable. The only time you need to open that puppy up is if you have to replace that battery and the kind of battery that it takes is one of these little puppies that you can get on Amazon or eBay and you can even get one that's got a higher rating than the one that's in here if the time comes to replace it it's one of these 18650 type batteries pretty common anyway to charge it you use these cables and the reason this one here is all tied up is because I don't really want to open another one. But it's the same kind that you use to like charge up your Android phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out one I already have open here so you can see that it plugs in right in the back like so. It does not come with an adapter so you need to have your own and for that, let's see, yeah, let's choose this one. So as you can see, there's, it's pretty standard, and you get this little blinky blinky light, all right? And when this thing is finished, it should go solid blue when it's fully charged up. Now, what's really nice about this sharpener, number one, is that you can use it while it's charging and when you use it on battery only rather than having this thing plugged in it feels like it has the same amount of power so i was very impressed with that uh, when i was testing it out earlier okay this pencil sharpener has a adjustment here that you can go one two three and it's supposed to give you either a very sharp point or kind of blunt the end of it a little bit however in my testing uh, they both came out pretty close to the same kind of sharpness even under a magnifying glass I I was unable to get this to make a blunt end so uh, I would say that this adjustment here is um, useless to be honest so fortunately for me I like the sharp point so I don't care about the blunt part here. That doesn't make, make a difference for me. It's very heavy duty. It's, it's got some heft to it. Not a whole lot, but it, it's on the heavier side of sharpeners. So it definitely does feel like it's a heavy duty sharpener. And the fact that the way it sharpens on battery, when it's not plugged in, kind of tells me that it's got a pretty strong motor in here. And we're going to check that out here in a second. But before we do, before we get this thing all filled up with shavings and stuff, I want to show you the innards of this thing, okay? So, for example, if you're going to uh, empty this thing out, you just unscrew the top like this. It comes out really easy, all right? And then you just kind of pull this right up, okay? You don't have to turn it. It won't turn, actually, because it's got this uh, curved thing and this curved thing here fits right in here so it's not going to turn. But here you can see that uh, I've already used it, I've tested it, and um, that's why it's, it's dirty. So if you needed to get the lead out of here, it has a auto lead ejection, 
But in the event that it doesn't auto eject, you have a clear view of where that blade is. So you can put a, a get a toothpick or something and flick it out. It's not a big deal. Now, if you ever need to replace this blade, it's not difficult to take this thing off. You just give it a slight turn, just a little turn, and this thing pops right out. Literally. Okay, and then there is your helical blade. Okay, and you go and see if you can get a replacement for that. Contact the manufacturer. To put this thing back in, it's got this four star here, and it's got this four star here but it will not take it either way. In other words, although you can put this in, you're not going to be able to get this thing back on unless this is put in the correct way. So you turn it, try it that way, and at some point you will find, turn it again to the next slot, okay, put it in here, there we go. It goes all the way down, then you want to turn it to the left to lock it back in, okay? So it's really simple. It's just because it's keyed, and it makes sure you can only put this thing in one way. All right, and I'm getting my hands dirty again because of all the sharpening that I had been doing with this uh, to get familiar with this sharpener to see if it was something worth making a video on because uh, a lot of times if I, if I test these things out and I don't like them, uh, what's the point of just, you know, doing another bash video, which I've done some in the past, and, and then you kind of hurt some people's feelings who happen to like the sharpener that I bash, so uh, I tend to want to do them. If they have at least enough features, or they uh, perform well enough that it's worth doing a video, so I could say at least some positive things about it. And this pencil sharpener definitely does have more positives the negatives which we will cover okay just push that back on like that and by the way that's how you empty the shavings see what I just did right there okay right on my desk and then you take this and you just go ahead and just screw that back on and it goes in snug and you're good to go so now let's sharpen some pencils here we have one of my Derwent Onyx pencils. And if you watch my video on the Derwent Onyx pencil, you know how much I love this pencil. Ugh, crush that tip right off. That's sarcasm, folks. I really dislike the Derwent Onyx pencils. All right, so you just push it in, okay? There's a little resistance here in the beginning. I personally think it's too much resistance, but I mean, it's not a, it's not a deal breaker, but uh, I did mention it to the uh, manufacturer that it would be nicer if it didn't have uh, such tight wheels uh, where that grabs on of this pencil when you push it in. But anyway, you just put it in. And it automatically stops. And while it's sharpening, that light goes blue and it stays on while you're sharpening. And then the light goes out when the pencil is done sharpening. And take a look at that point. That is a beautiful point. And these are dirty, nasty hands. Oh man, I really did it this time. Okay, well anyway, I think I'm gonna go wash them. My hands are already dirty. Look, Mom! Clean hands. All right. Okay, so now that I got the all hygiene thing taken care of, here's one of the things I want to show you here. These are the pencils that I sharpened in my original test of this sharpener. And I sharpened hybrid pencils like the General's 9XXB, which has a uh, it's partially a carbon or charcoal mixed with graphite. So it is going to be a softer pencil. And this is a thick, I don't know if you said, it's a bigger diameter pencil, okay, than a regular pencil. It is a bigger diameter. And most sharpeners will not accept this size of a pencil. This sharpener will. 
okay? You can see it goes right in there. And it gives you a fantastic point. Now, what I was really, really wanting to see is how it treats my expensive charcoal pencils. These aren't cheap. These Conte uh, Paris or Paris, however you want to say it, pencils. Pierre Noir 3B in this case here, 1710. And uh, it has a very, very, very soft uh, charcoal core to it. And pencil sharpeners can snap that off. All pencil sharpeners will snap this puppy off if you're not gentle. But this pencil sharpener here, as long as you don't jam it in like crazy, that's the point that I was able to get with this pencil. Now, I would demonstrate sharpening that pencil for you, but I did mention that it is a little pricey. It's my favorite charcoal pencil. I don't want to break the tip to sharpen it. So I hope you just take my word for it. I sharpen that in this, okay? And here are the two Derwent Onyx pencils that I was just sharpening and sharpening and they're getting smaller and smaller because I was testing whether, uh, you know, you can adjust it for a point and a blunt. Well, one's a blunt, one's a point. And like I was saying, can you really tell a difference? Even under a magnifying glass, I was unable to tell a difference. So I didn't see much point in that. But I will demonstrate with this. So you've already seen the point. I had it on three. So, and three is actually the blunt. That's what I got, okay? And the one is supposed to be the point. But let's just do them both anyway. So, I told you how much I love these Durants, right? Yeah, you're probably all going, ah! I know, I know. There, now we got some guinea pigs here. So, this is set on number one. Let's do it. You know what? I'm going to do this like this so all of you can see the light come on and everything there. All right, here we go. Okay, auto stop. That's one of the features. It has an automatic stop when it's done. And as you can see, that is a beautiful point. Writers and sketchers, drawers, uh, should be really happy with this. I know I am happy with that point. And we'll just keep it right here. And now let's put this on three, which is the other extreme. And let's see if we can get a blunt because we got a point that time, right? Okay, so let's see what happens here. You see how powerful that thing is and it's not plugged in? I really like that. There you go. That's your blunt. Okay. I can't tell the difference. I doubt if you can tell the difference. It looks really close. If anything, it might have a dinky winky blunt tip on there. I don't see how that's you know, why you would have an adjustment if that's all you're going to get. It looks the same. So, if you this pencil sharpener is for points. Forget about blunts. If you want blunts, I can't endorse this for doing blunt tips. What I can say is if you want blunt, there you go. There's your blunt. Okay. And you get a spare little tip on the side. All right, now I can't say how long this battery will last because I have been unable to run it down. I've been using it uh, for quite some time today, just beating it up. I wanted to see if it would take a beating and I was jamming pencils in here. Uh, all I can say is, is that the list of positives 
are much better, are, are, are much longer than the negatives. What are the negatives, you might be wondering. One is the resistance when you put the pencil in. It's, it's not a big deal. You just go past it, just push through it, and then press in and you, you sharpen the pencil. But it's still, in my opinion, a negative. I'd, I'd like a much smoother. And uh, it does appear that with use, it is getting a little bit easier. So that's one thing, okay? And the other thing is this uh, adjustment. I, I don't understand why it's here if it's not actually going to do anything. And the other and last negative that I can think of is that it doesn't come with an adapter. It comes with the USB cable, the black one I showed you earlier, and the positive, I think it's a good looking sharpener. It's got heft. It's got these little uh, non-skid feet here, so it just sits there pretty nice. The top comes off easy. This comes off easy. Easy to open and dump the shavings out. Easy to remove the helical blade if you ever need to replace it. Or if you ever break your tip in here, uh, you can easily access the gap within the blade and just prop that out. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say on either side, the positive or negative. As far as a sharpener, I think that this one is a good sharpener. And for now, it will be the one that's on my desk um, until the next one comes around and knocks it off my desk and replaces it. All right. Well, that's it for this review of the Jarlink uh, Heavy Duty Electric Pencil Sharpener. And by the way, uh, if you notice here, it does have quite a capacity to hold shavings. Okay, so that is really good. And uh, don't forget, it handles the wide diameter pencils, which is a real plus. I think it's rated up to like 12 millimeter but I, I think it covers pretty much all the big jumble pencils that you can think of. It is rated to sharpen charcoal and colored pencils. Don't sharpen wax pencils. Colored pencils. Here's a colored pencil. So they do sharpen these colored pencils. What is that anyway? So yes, it does sharpen, but wax, if you got some really waxy pencil. Don't use that in here. Uh, they also say it does sharpen charcoal. I have already proven to myself that they do sharpen my charcoal pencils. I'm happy about that. It sharpens my hybrid pencils. So good for artist pencils. Uh, there you go. Okay. Well, anyway, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll be informed of my upcoming videos, which I hope I'll be coming out with more soon. I'm still trying to get my studio together. And again, I apologize. It's been a while. But anyway, thought I'd get this one out. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.